am Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and I'm here today with your first look of the HTC Droid Incredible for Verizon Wireless. This is the carrier's latest Android smartphone, and I have to say that HTC and Verizon were pretty bold to put Incredible in the product name, because if the device doesn't live up to its name, you can bet they'll be hearing about it. But lucky for them, I think they'll be hearing mostly good things. Uh, let's check out the design first. From the outside, the Incredible looks a lot like other touchscreen smartphones. Of course, without a physical keyboard, it's a lot more compact and pocket-friendly than the Ver Verizon's other top Android phone, which is the Motorola Droid. And it's roughly the same size as the Nexus One. The Incredible is a bit more rectangular in shape and doesn't feel quite as solid as the Nexus One, but I think the Droid Incredible's design is more attractive overall because it has a more seamless and cleaner design because they got rid of the trackball and replaced it with this optical joystick. On back, you'll see that the battery door has this topographic design. Um, it's more of just a style thing, but when you pop the door off, you'll see that the cover is actually following the lines of the internal components, and you'll also notice that it's completely red inside. Uh, there's really no purpose to this other than to give the phone a distinctive style. Um, an HTC rep told me it's like admiring the lines and curves of a nice sports car. I wouldn't go that far, but I can definitely appreciate that HTC and its designers put that extra thought into the phone. Flipping back to the front, you've got a 3.7 inch WVGA AMOLED touchscreen, just like the Nexus One, but in a side-by-side -side comparison, I felt like the Incredibles display was a bit more vibrant and the touchscreen was also more responsive and provided a smoother scrolling experience. Uh, typing was also a bit easier since the Droid Incredible uses HTC's on-screen keyboard instead of the stock Android one. The keys on the HTC One just happen to be a little bit bigger. I will say that the display is hard to see under bright sunlight and it's a magnet for smudges and fingerprints, uh, but overall a really beautiful screen and it also offers pinch to zoom support and a built-in accelerometer and proximity sensor. What's really impressive about the smartphone is underneath the hood though. Uh, the Droid Incredible runs Android 2.1, so you're getting all the latest features like voice to text capabilities, live wallpapers, and Google Maps navigation. But unlike the Motorola Droid and the Nexus One, it's also running HTC Sense, which I think gives the incredible advantage over the other two. Uh, this is for a couple of reasons. First, it makes the Android UI much more user-friendly and adds new widgets such as the friend stream for your social networking needs, group contacts, and my personal favorite, the Leap screen, which shows you thumbnail views of all seven home screens for easy switching. Also, Sense enhances some of the core apps like Mail, uh, so in addition to a unified inbox for your multiple POP3, IMAP, and Exchange accounts, you now have a tabbed interface along the bottom that lets you easily filter messages by conversation threads, groups, attachments, meeting invitations, and so forth. Uh, the contacts, phone, and calendar apps all have similar tab systems as well. HTC Sense even makes Android's drab media player a little more attractive. Um, as a Verizon phone, of course, you get support for some of their services such as NFL Mobile and Skype Mobile, and they even have a dedicated channel in the Android market. The Droid Incredible also works on its eVideo Rev A network, which provided great coverage here in New York and great speeds for browsing and downloads. Some other advantages of the Droid Incredible include 8 gigabytes of internal memory and an 8 megapixel camera. And even though it has the same 1 gigahertz processor as the Nexus One, the Incredible is amazingly fast, um, never tripping up no matter how many apps I had open. It's really one of the snappiest smartphones I've used in a long time. And it's because of the speed and HTC Sense that we're giving the Droid Incredible our Editor's Choice Award. I know some of you might be waiting for the Sprint HTC Evo 4G or even the Nexus One for Verizon Wireless, but I have to say the Droid Incredible just does an awesome job of taking the features of Android 2.1, making them better with HTC Sense, and then combining it with a slick design and lots of power. It's definitely Verizon's best smartphone and one of, if not the top, Android device currently out there. The HTC Droid Incredible will be available from Verizon starting April 29th for $199.99 with a two-year contract and after a $100 mail-in rebate. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been your first look at the HTC Droid Incredible for Verizon Wireless. Hey guys, Brian Tong here, and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off, then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers, and more. So you can find it all at CNET.com slash prize fight. And I'll see you there. Woo-bah!